Hey guys, Mower Mike here, coming in from our Texas HQ down here. And today I'm going to show you how to replace and remove the electronic PTO clutch from a John Deere lawnmower. What the PTO clutch does, it bolts up underneath the motor and the crankshaft comes down through here and it turns. And this is an electronic clutch. When you pull the blade lever to turn the blades on, it sinks in here and it starts turning this pulley, which spins the blades. And to remove it, I'm going to show you the process here. It's fairly simple. I've got the deck pulled off on this one. You don't really have to have the deck pulled off. Uh, so let's get to it. To do that, you need to first remove the electrical connection onto the clutch. Just get a screwdriver prop underneath the electrical connection and it pulls out. So that's, that's it right there. Once you have that out, I like to use an impact, which is the 5 8 right there. It's just one bolt. Bolts to the crankshaft of the motor. Put her in reverse. Pull that bolt out, and the whole clutch just slides off, just like so. Okay, now, what do you do if you don't have an impact wrench? And you're just, you know, maybe you're younger, you haven't quite got the man status to have an impact wrench. There is another way to remove that bolt from underneath the motors. You'll notice when you turn that bolt slowly without an impact, it'll turn the whole motor. What you need to do is to come to the top of the motor and you need to get to the bolt underneath this fan cover dealy. So first of all, remove the fan cover, real simple. These are just eight millimeter bolts. I like to use a drill because it makes it very quick on these things. Pull it off. Once you have it off, you'll see a nut down in here. Big nut connects to the top of the crankshaft. Give you guys a look. See that nut? Now that's an inch and a quarter nut. Now on top of it, put an inch and a quarter socket. And then what you do, put that socket on there. When you turn it to the left underneath, you'll hit this fairing right here and you can get it tight enough where you can loosen it up without actually using an impact wrench. Super easy, but if you have an impact, I'd use that. All right, and that's it. Uh, to put the clutch back on, just reverse as the installation. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, you know, if you enjoyed it, please subscribe. I think I've got two subscribers right now, probably related to both of them. <laughs> so just having fun. And we'll do some more uh, fix-it videos and stuff around the house, especially if you have one of these John Deere lawnmowers. I've got that playlist where I'm going to fix essentially everything you can fix on one of these suckers. Uh, so I hope it helps. Anyways. I'm out.